told me that sin was back. And I might as well get my black butt back in line because I was not going to find no one else that can do me the way that sin does. And because my self-esteem already tattered and bruised, I excused sin's trespasses and decided to work on our relationship. Maybe if I equipped myself with the proper communication tools, Sin wouldn't be so cruel. Maybe if I let sin do whatever sin wants to do, whenever sin wants to do it, and stop asking why, sin wouldn't blacken my eye. Maybe if I kept my mouth shut and my ears open, I wouldn't have so many broken ligaments, and I saved money on not having to buy so many first aid kits. Maybe if we live in separate places, and then see each other's faces every day. Maybe then, me and my sin will seemingly be okay. Maybe if I limit the opportunity, sin will not have the possibility to drag me down so much. Sin didn't care. Because sin knew. All sin needed was one touch. Floodgates open, and here I am with my sin again. I hate myself in the morning. I'm wide awake crying, and sin is laying there snoring. You would think that when I look in the mirror, the bruised individual looking back at me would see the picture a little more clear. You would think I would be sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I was, so I fired sin. But sin got union representation. <laughs> <laughs> Said I had no justification. Said it wasn't sin, it was me. All sin gave me was the location. I ate the apple off of the tree. Sin told me that I wasn't right. And every time we fight, my spirit man depleted. I went downtown to get a restraining order, but sin convinced me that I didn't need it. Sin got me living in fear. Got me changing my locks. Sin didn't need a key. All sin ever had to do was knock. And I would let sin in. Especially during lonely times. Foolishly letting my mind be subject to sin's persuasions. Only thought about me on two occasions. That's that baby face, y'all. Reference. The sin was sin. And what about our offspring? Habitual rituals in which individuals cling. Lingering on to ungodly dreams. What about the times we shared? What about the burdens that sin bear? What about the seeds that sin planted? Sin actually had me believing that I was taking sin for granted. Usually followed by a smack. I better watch what I say. Man, it's no good. Sin said that sin wishes that I would. I could end up hospitalized again, or even worse. I could end up in a hearse. <clears throat> so I talked to my grandma about it. And she said, baby, it's a generational curse. And that I had to pray your grandfather for it. She said, my father dealt with this particular sin too. I was hoping it would skip over you. Then my spirit man interjected and projected this loud shout. He said, there is a way out. You just have to stop straddling the fence. Boy, you a trip. And your resolve would lead you smoke and your libation, your sexual relations is God knows what I'm dealing with. Repent. 
and go back to the ways of the Lord. When was the last time you used your double-edged sword? When was the last time you fellowship in the things of God was spoken? Did you forget about praying and hoping? Did you forget about mercy and grace? Did you forget about before the forming of the foundation of the world? Who knew this place? Don't you know with sin there is only regret? Well, with God there is restoration. Yeah, I know. I know that. So why in me is there so much hesitation? Why do I indulge in so much procrastination? My emancipation from this destructive relation I put off again and again and again. And so finally, I told sin, we are through. There is no more me and you. And to my surprise, sin just walked away. Didn't seem angry at all now. I know sin is crazy, so I mean to call the cops to file a report. I hear you of domestic violence. But I was silenced by a, oh, there's nothing we can do. You should have reported sin years ago. But if sin comes back, then please let us know. If sin comes back, we'll be the first ones on the scene. And I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Before the authorities have the ability to put sin in jail, sin already have you in hell. All right. Good, 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 good. So, is that all right? Yeah. All right, so me and my sin is indicative of how whatever sinful nature you have, whatever whatever you're dealing with, and I don't know what I don't know what y'all are dealing with, but it is how things are in, we're gonna correspond to an abusive relationship. Oh, y'all picked up on that. So some of the things that hold you back is just like abuse. This particular sin I'm talking about alcoholism. Because it's a, it's a heavy, it's heavy in my family. So when I talk about me and my sin, I talk about those things that's holding you down, that's holding you back. That's keeping you from your purpose. All right. That was brilliant. My goodness. That's all right. That's amazing. It looks a lot like you. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> That's a bad man pajama. That's a bad man pajama. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the thing. <laughs> that was amazing. You don't, I mean, it's not every day you get to see something like that come to life. Round of applause for Frederick and Ian And they're local artists, so you guys can make sure you look them up and support that. And that piece that they just painted live on stage will be one of the pieces that we will be giving away with the raffle out there. So this is why you want to make sure that you get that $2 ticket and you put your name in this raffle because that's one of the pieces. The other piece that we have is actually an 8 foot by 4 foot huge piece that says style and really nice graffiti done by Daystar, who's a local graffiti artist and visual artist himself. So, Round of applause for Brett Billingsley. That was amazing. Since I love you guys, and clearly they are here to show it tonight. So really, really glad to be a part of this. So now this is going to be the fun fashion part of the show. So we have Osteer and Company Clothing. So they are from Ohio. They are the most positive clothing brand in the world. Trademarked, official. They are the most positive. And when you meet these guys, they're a group of friends. They, they travel together. They spread their message of joy and love. And they do it in such a beautiful way. So they're about to do a fashion show for you guys. So the theme of this is to represent the movement that 
Osier Fresh and Company has. So osierfresh.com is where you guys can find them. And you'll notice that every single piece that's here tonight and everything on his site, Rico, which is Osier backwards, is going to be giving everybody a 20% discount from the audience tonight. So make sure you guys go to their website and order something for yourself. That'll be an awesome discount to apply. And I think he said he's going to have some really great pictures of tonight's events and all of your beautiful faces on this site as well. So make sure you go on there and download those digital copies and put them all over your social networks for all of your friends to see. Um, we are about to show you Osir Fresh's Movement Fashion Show. So put your hands together for Osir Fresh. Show. So put your hands together for Osir and Company. 
and there's an issue there with a lot of the youth today. Um, a lot of people want to be what they see on TV, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. They don't know the history about themselves, they don't know the history about their family, so they try to be something that they're just not. <clears throat> and that's what this song is about. They want to make it to the top, they want to be a millionaire. But what about community that's killing everywhere? You know what I'm saying, you know the dying plan. So open up them ears and get this message I'm relaying. We see it on the daily, greed, fear, and hate. They never seem to love, nor do they integrate. We got to do more than talk, we got to demonstrate. So shut your TV down and find more ways to elevate. It's sad to see society been flooded by the garbage. It's sad to see they choose in hypnotic over knowledge. It's sad to see they promote beauty is not within that you gotta be like her, 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 and him. It's sad to see they force and must to get a bigger screen. They see the nonsense on HD. It's a scene. They want to be what they see on TV. They try to be what they see on TV. They want to be what they see on TV. But they don't need to be what they see on TV. You gon' give them something fresh. You gon' give them something new. Give them something fresh. Give them something new. Give them something fresh. Give them something new. Give them something fresh. Money, power, and gold. Them idols won't save your soul. Them pirates, they just get cold. Deception's the only goal. They're just identity bandits, people, products, and standards. Brainwashing the masses, it will never last. It's just an idiot box that keeps you mentally blocked. Destruction that with them, with them productions, them products just leave us stuck. They want to be what they see on TV. They trying to be what they see on TV. They dying to be what they see on TV. But they don't need to be what they seeing on TV. Because you going to give them something fresh. You going to give them something new. You going to give them something fresh. You going to give them something new. You going to give them something fresh. Give them something new. Give them something fresh. They don't need to be what they see on TV. They don't want to be what they see on TV. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, that piece is called They Want to Be What They See on TV. Um, and yeah, you know, let's really encourage our youth. Let's love them, love on them wherever they are, um, and just let them know that they're the future and that our future is looking really good. <laughs> um, I guess um, I don't know. I, I guess I'm gonna just stay on the spoken word tip. They call me a singer, but there's a bunch of dynamics here. Um, this piece here, this next piece here, is just about faith. Um, and faith is what pushes us into the next level of our life. Um, so, yeah, here it goes. <clears throat> faith is the key. It is the foundation indeed. It can swallow fear, adapt, confusion, make them look like an illusion. So both so mighty resilient with faith, there are no limits. The struggle starts inside to so locate the enemy in fire because freedom wasn't ever free. The battles inside you and me, insecurity standards, trials, tribulations, and those tragedies. 
Those seem like roadblocks to me, but opposition could never stop me. I rest assured and I'm at ease when I am low. I'm going to take my leap. See, with my Ephesians armor, the enemy gets murked, he gets slaughtered. I ask, dude, why even bother? You know my father is sovereign. You know salvation is coming. Get up in my feet, yeah, who running? The stronghold's no longer you, because I'm wearing the belt of his truth. And the gospel, the good news. Don't you ever try to play me like I'm a fool. Don't you ever try to sway me like I need you. I throw up my faith and you are done, dude. I tell the enemy, I rebuke thee. Get behind me and under my feet. Don't offer me that cup of defeat. I got victory on repeat.